Hello students, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss Enterprise Data Center Design Consideration Part 1 of Unit 3, Designing Basic Campus and Data Center Network for the Subject Enterprise Network Design of BV7 Semester IT, University of Mumbai. <music> In this lecture, we are going to discuss Enterprise Data Center Design Consideration Part 1 and Part 2. Okay. In this particular lecture, we will cover the Enterprise Data Center and the Cisco Enterprise Data Center Architecture Framework that is already being discussed in previous lectures also. So we will discuss the comprehensive architecture of SONA. The Enterprise Data Center. Here we will describe the data center technology and trends influencing the enterprise data center. For large enterprise with a significant number of servers, a dedicated enterprise server provides employee partners and customers with access to the data and resources to effectively work, collaborate and interact. Historically, most enterprise data center grew rapidly as organizational requirement expanded. Applications were implemented as needed, often resulting in underutilized isolated infrastructure silos. Each silo was designed based on the specific application being deployed. So, typical data center supported broad assortment of opening systems, computing platforms, and storage system, resulting in various application islands that were difficult to change or expand and expensive to manage integrate secure and backup so in this figure we see the server centric data center model evolving to a service centering model in this particular diagram we can see that application silos are there application silos and application silos so this is server and there are different different applications the end user and user access network data center network pooled storage resources different different resources are there shared application services to server centric monolithic proprietary campus silos aggregation of storage into storage area network prevent prevalence of one ru and blade servers with consolidated input output and service centric model pools of the standardized resource assembled on demand to create virtual infrastructure so let us discuss in this figure what are the things the deployment of virtual machine software such as vmware and zen and oracle virtual machine uh, there are several virtual machines exist which breaks the one-to-one -one relationship between application and server hardware and operating system on which they run virtual machine software allows multiple application to run on a single server independent of each other and the underlying operating system so we are vmware you can found at different different website and oracle's virtual box is also there and windows hyper v terminal is also there so you can use any of the virtual machine then the removal of a storage from the server consolidating it in a server a storage pool network storage such as storage area network that is san allows easier management provisioning improved utilization and consistent recovery practices if you are having idea about cloud computing then these terminologies are very very similar to these uh, the terminologies what we are using in enterprise data center center the creation of pools of one way two way or four way servers that can be pooled and provisioned on the demand so here it is provisioning of server is also there and provisioning is the term associated with cloud computing one way server have single processor two way server have two processors and four way servers have four processors the consolidation of input output resources so that the input output can be pulled and provision on demand for connectivity to the other server storage and LAN pools so the resulting service centering data center has pooled compute storage and input output resources that are provisioned to support application over the data center network because the network touches and can control all the components the network can be used to integrate all the applications and services network technology actively participate in the delivery of application to end user so here you can see that server as a service and storage as a service and different different applications as a service 
and so many things are there which is very similar to the cloud computing model. Now come to Cisco Enterprise Data Center Architecture Framework. In this Cisco Enterprise Data Center Architecture Framework, it uses the consolidation and virtualization of data center resources required a highly scalable, resilient, secure data center network foundation. So already in unit one, where we have discussed applying a methodology to network design, the Cisco service oriented architecture SONA framework defines how enterprise can evolve towards intelligence in the network that optimize application business process and resources. The Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture based on SONA provides organization with a framework to address intermediate data center demands for consolidation and business continuance while enabling emerging services uh, service oriented architecture virtualization and on demand computing technology in the data center. So this is the diagram for Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture. Actually, it is diagram for SONA, Cisco SONA framework. In this framework, business applications are there, collaborative applications are there, and one more application is there, traditional architecture, service-oriented architecture, both are there. Advanced analytics and decision support is given in this particular block. Here, interactive service layer, service management, and service virtualization is applied adaptive management services are there and different different infrastructures are there low latency clustering virtualization replication and fabrics then come to this is coming under network infrastructure virtualization while this comes under infrastructure management like compute network and the storage network so this is network infrastructure layer and this is interactive service layer and inside that service management and service virtualization is given so let us see the Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture is shown here in this figure aligns the data center resources with business application and provides multiple resources to end to end users in the enterprise. The Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture has these layers like number one is network infrastructure layer meets all the bandwidth latency and protocol requirement for the user to service. Uh, server and server to server and server to storage connectivity and communication in a modular hierarchical infrastructure. It is very clear that inside that network is infrastructure, we are associated with network related demand. Now come to interactive service layer. Interactive service layer is in middle of this diagram. So in this, it provides the infrastructure services that ensures fast and secure alignment of resources with application requirement and Cisco application networking services that optimize application integration and delivery of application to the end user. So this is all about uh, the two layers and the last one that is business application collaboration application. These are directly connected with the users. The Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture provides a scalable function foundation that allows data center to host a variety of legacy and emerging system and technologies, including anti-air application. So what is anti-air application? Secure network zones support two, three or anti-air application environment with techniques that optimize application availability and server and storage utilization. Second is the web application. Web application, you know, these are the simple web application. Application acceleration and server optimized technologies provide improved scalability and delivery of web application to end users wherever they are. Then blade servers. Blade servers, as the name suggests, there are multiple blades placed inside one server. As self-contained servers, blade servers housed in a blade enclosure have all the functional components required to be considered computers, but have reduce physical components so that uh, they require less space power and so forth the cisco enterprise data center architecture provides an intelligent network foundation using integrated ethernet and the infini band switching technology that have optimized blade server availability security and the performance then clustering high performance computing and grid so the cisco high performance data server and storage uh, switching solution whether uh, 
based on ethernet infiniband or fiber channel enable the deployment of data and input output intensive application that makes use of these distributed compute and storage architectures then come to soa and web services service oriented architecture and web services the cisco enterprise data center architecture facilitates the reliable secure and rapid deployment of soa by enabling dynamic deployment or and scaling of secure infrastructure and by enhancing application integration with message based on services now come to mainframe computing mainframe is traditional model of computing cisco offers a comprehensive set of technologies supporting a system network architecture that is SNA to IP migration, fiber connection, and native IP mainframe services. So these are the different different services associated with the Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture framework. Sample data center network topology. So the Cisco Enterprise Data Center architecture is supported by networking technologies and solution that allow organization to evolve their data center infrastructure through the uh, different different phases these phases are consolidation virtualization and automation in consolidation integration of network server application and storage services into shared infrastructure enables enhances scalability and manageability while reducing the cost and complexity so now come to virtualization virtualization is network enabled virtualization of computing and storage resources and virtual network services increase utilization and adaptability while reducing overall cost and then automation dynamic monitoring provisioning and orchestration of data center infrastructure uh, resources resulting from changing loads disruption or attacks increases overall it agility while minimizing operational requirement so this figure shows storage uh, network in the left okay then application then front-end network so this is the front-end network resilient ip 10 g g gigabit ethernet security virtual private network firewall ids anomaly detection guard that is intuition detection system application delivery integrated business application so these are the things associated with this simple data center network topology so this is the diagram of simple data center network topology so this illustrates a simple high performance data center network topology that require many technologies as connectivity options among application and data centers this network topology provides connectivity services for the network elements within the data center such as servers and storage as well as the external user or other data centers so this is how we can create the network topology in this lecture we have covered enterprise data center and cisco enterprise data center architecture framework in next video we will going to discuss enterprise data center design consideration part two so thank you very much have a nice day have a nice time bye bye